He's the king of the jungle. What's up, everybody? We're back. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we're almost at a million followers. These last couple of videos have been crazy. Uh, I've been gone for a while. I got one of my kiddos with me. Um, as you guys can see over here, he needs a nail trim. So we're over here trimming his nails. And uh, one broke off over here earlier, but the rest of here are pretty freaking sharp. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get this camera right up in there so you guys can see exactly what is going on. Now, I do love to work with this guy, but sometimes his nails are way too much. So, oh yeah. I got this wood because if you really put them, people think I got this table for me, but it's actually for them. I made it a whole lot easier for me to actually trim these nails. Um, putting them on sofas or beds or anything, they just rip everything to pieces. And one day I'm walking around this area after a meeting on the phone and this guy is just selling this giant freaking, you know, wooden table as a like a yard sale and I'm like dude my lizard would love this because I could trim his nails on it and he can also feel comfortable he wouldn't have to keep ripping everything I wouldn't have to keep going through freaking sofas and couches and all types of stuff and he could be comfortable you know sorry for my horrible camera skill it's just me here today I want to make this episode a little more personal let me see this guy. He's like, what are you doing over there, Dad? He's super chill. He's really calm. Um, and that's why I love working with him. Um, but also, at times, working with him can be impossible if I do not trim these nails. Hi, right, buddy. You okay? I still got your, almost your whole other... Uh, don't you see? Like, he likes to grab me. He's like backing up. What happened? What happened? You don't want to be on there anymore? You just want to come on me? Come on. I'm here. So, yeah, good boy. Thank you. All right, all right. So, but you see how he grabs that table? It's it's perfect for him. So I'll grab this foot back here, right? And see this little one right there? Bloop. Another one. Bloop. Another one. Bloop. Another one. And this is a part of my sometimes daily routine, you know, going through with these animals, clipping their nails, giving them baths, taking them to the vet, you know, feeding them, working on their habitats, whatever the case may be. It's a, it's a daily thing. It's a daily chore. It's every day of my life that I get to spend with these guys and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, and it's like, it's my greatest joy, you know, to go from being around the world, seeing so many people and so many cool things, and then finally coming home on a nice peaceful Sunday and clipping your lizard's nails. <laughs> Just so you guys can actually hang out, you know? Cause I miss them. But I'm going all this time. I don't see them much, you know? I think about them and I see other lizards out there that are the same species as him and it reminds me of him and it, it makes me think about him, you know? And I don't know if he's thinking about me when I'm gone, but I would like to think my lizard's like, hey, I miss my dad, you know? Because I'm also like, hey, I miss you guys. So sometimes when you guys don't see me on like YouTube posting every day, you know, or just giving you guys content updates, I'm usually with them. You know, I'm, I'm with these guys, and these guys always have my full undivided attention, uh, even if the camera's rolling or it's not, you know? And I always told myself, no matter what, if I had a million followers or a million dollars, or I would never change giving these guys the time they need because they need it first. And it's also therapy for me, you know? So it's my Verana Salvador. He's a thick boy. He's handsome. Um, he has really, really sharp claws, so I can't even, like, touch him or hold him without my skin bleeding on all of my hands, all of my arms, all of my legs from these guys. So um, I love to work with them, but 
their attitudes are great if you know how to work with this type of species, you know? But it's the claws, man. You can have a great lizard, a great personality with them. It's a great animal to work with, but it's, a, it's, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty hard to, you know, concentrate on breathing when these claws are scraping down your back or your neck or, you know, almost taking your eyeball out. You try not to freak out and, and freak the animal out, but you guys get the point. They're all different. It, like this guy, he is such a baby, man. So, so I get to clip these guys' nails because energy changes, you know? Yeah, it's all right. I'm just clipping your other last nail over here. Almost done. Okay. All right. You're fine. So. Yeah, man, all these are done over here. I think he has just one more claw in the front. I gotta get it. I can't miss a nail. Um, <laughs> Cause that one will get you, just that one. You can't be lazy with these guys, man. If you do a full trim, um, they could cost you your eyeball if you miss it. So you gotta be real cautious. So I get to grab them and do like little small manis and petties on them. It's like clipping a dog's toenails. Um, but it's not, <laughs> you know, if, or even cat toenails are really hard to clip, you know, domestic house cats, people got to trim those claws, those cat toenails. Ooh, man, these guys are the same, but imagine a cat toenail as a dog toenails hybrid. That's what these guys claws are like because they like to climb trees and stuff, you know, they also rip their prey apart, but they're too big. Um, these guys aren't like a, a animal to eat something small all the time. These guys will come together as a small community, even though they're solitary animals. And they'll eat a giant carcass and they'll just rip through it like lions would, you know? Um, that's one thing that's really cool about these guys. They're almost like scavengers, all right? We got about four or five lizards to trim. I'm talking way too much, but uh, I'm just happy to be back and you guys see our baby over here. Look at him chilling, man. What a face, huh? Hey, buddy. What's up? I want to enjoy the sun. Look at him. Man, he's a cute kid, man. What a good boy. He's dirty, too. He's usually actually really yellow. Um, it's a Varenis coming eye a cross with a Samarensis. Come on, so we had a lot of white up there. Hi, buddy. <laughs> this is where these guys actually live along these type of mangrove rooted areas in the jungle. So uh, they'll lay out like this and bask on the bottom of like, you know, mangrove patches and, you know, palm trees. Exactly what they look like when they're out just chilling and basking, man. That's awesome. Sorry, my phone's ringing. All right, guys, so he's done. Sorry, I had to make a phone call, but yeah, man, this is the life. This is Sunday. I can sit here all day. <laughs> I can literally sit here all day. All right, time for you to get up so we can bring your cousin slash brother. Guys, this is our uh, our better way of hanging out because any other way, it's unbearable. Uh, if you were to grab my, hey, no, 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 you cannot grab that. All right, okay. <laughs> He's there. Uh, I just didn't want him to grab my eyes, um, but literally, he's a, like a, a beautiful lizard, man. Uh, I just don't want him grabbing my moss because he's gonna tear it down. Uh, all right, guys, I'll be back. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. The camera had died, so you wanna get, you know, he's right here, he doesn't even care about me. I'm getting right there on that claw. You guys see that? I'm not going too high. I'm going just right at the... Good of me to 
cut too short. That's why you gotta be careful. Another one there. Hope you guys can see. And I just gotta be graceful with it. Even while he's moving, I gotta move with him and see if I can grab that last one. Come here, buddy, don't go down there. Got it. You feel good? This one on the edge can use a little work. He loves his nails to be long. It's his protection. It's his way of climbing. And it makes him feel probably a whole lot more safer as an animal to have all your weapons fully loaded. But man, I do enjoy him. I love hanging out with him. And I'll show you guys how sweet he is. The moment I finish these front couple claws, almost there, but I'm sorry, man. One more. Just got one more. That's it, let me just do the last one. Uh, and we're done, we're done, buddy. We're all done. Oh. Yeah, man. This guy right here, a Rennes white-headed new chalice. Look at this. He's got just the craziest look, man. Uh, I, I'm just so mesmerized by him. He's got these white flecks on his head, around his neck, and then all up there is yellow. You see that? Yellow as the other guy, you know, coming out. He has so much yellow, it's so profound. Well, this guy just has specks of it, but he's got these accents of white all down his back. It looks like a Nile monitor, you know, with no pattern, but it's not. It's a Varanus uh, black headed new chalice. The white headed are much more whiter than this guy is. Um, he's a sweetheart. I'm gonna show you guys because he wants to move around and stuff. Which is fine, go, get out. We're just going around. I tried to get on the ground earlier. I'm gonna move this thing back a little so you guys can see. Oh, look at this guy, man. Oh, just don't go on my face. Perfect, perfect lizard, you know? Perfect little dinosaur. Uh, and I love it. Ah! See? Uh, trying to film for you guys. Sometimes it's just absolutely terrible and it gets me frustrated when stuff starts falling and smacking me in the head and freaking the animals out. It's just, uh, your phone starts ringing. It's not always uh, <laughs> perfect, you know, but that's the part of being a YouTuber, you know, and practicing and vlogging. You get to go back and watch yourself and see if you get better. I'm just hitting a, a million subscribers and I got camera equipment falling on me. Sometimes lizards poop on me. It's always something, <laughs> you know? And punches. But most importantly, we get to hang out. Look at this guy. Get over here. A beast of a lizard, of an animal, you know? Absolutely love it. So, Hope you guys enjoyed this lizard. We have another. Again, we saw our Philippine water monitor. <laughs> if you want to see something funny, which is actually, I'm trying not to get this off of here. So you guys see him, right? He's he's a stud. He's handsome. Mr. Handsome over here. And then, as he's getting his little bath, we got this big old fella. He's just chilling right here, not too far away. Same exact uh, species of uh, Varanda Salvador, but just from different islands. So, and then he's got this other lizard. And this lizard. Hey, sir. Hey, mister. How are you? All right, guys. So, yeah, I mean, I wish I was more like. Wow, woo, wow, one million followers, subscribers, woo! I'm not able to have a million followers without doing what I do every day. Um, and every day, ugh, now I get to hang out with my kids. That's the best part about it. Ugh, you go up there, I'm gonna put my hood on because even though their claws aren't that sharp, they're still sharp, um, but they're actually work with a bull, you know? Actually, how cool these freaking dinosaurs are. 
I mean, look at this. It's a joy to be able to work with these guys. Um, as you can see, they're so cool, so chill. Um, not many people that own monitors know that you can do this because it's just not, you know, it's not recommended to mix big giant lizards if you don't know what you're doing. But to work with these guys, it's amazing. They're on top of my head. Uh, I gotta move them <laughs> eventually, but I wanted to show you guys the pleasure of working with this species once you have mastered clipping the nails, giving them baths, altering their diets where it is in captivity as in in a wild, and also just nutritional value. One wants to go the other way, one wants to go that way. <laughs> Hopefully they don't start trying to get who's bigger on top of my head because that's just gonna be too much. But I love you guys, I gotta go. Uh, freaking peace. And then we got the Kraken. The chains. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, it's your turn. Well, this guy is our massive crocodile monitor. Like I said, his claws are. I just did this whole back foot. Literally, it's, it's, he's all good. He actually just has skin on here. That's it. But that skin don't really mean nothing. Is dead. If you guys look, that whole hand right here is not a. Uh, it's not sharp at all. That's good. It's good to go. Now he also has a great personality. Um, he's like, Dad, what are you doing? Hi, bud. You okay? It probably would be better if you move up a little bit. Here we go. There you go. Get your whole chest on that on that log right there. So yeah, there he goes. Uh, all nine foot of pure freaking dragon. Get these scissors over there. His feet are like I said, his feet are almost already clean. This is our other big guy. He is literally just hanging out, chilling. Um, he's big. He's handsome. He's well respected. Right on. Okay, man. Just obese. That long tongue. Again, guys, I could do this all day. I see this vlog started, the sun has went down. Um, I've been doing my Sunday routine, feeding, cleaning, nail trims, baths, you name it. I'm writing in their little journals, giving them updates. Um, there's three lizards there. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys any more lizards today because I have like too many more to show. But our snakes are next. I'll show you guys a couple snake species that I showed you guys in the past that we'll do a quick update on. Oh, hood on. I don't necessarily need the hood for him, you know. He's not a he's not as spastic as the rest of the crew is, you know. And there he goes. Say hey bud. He's like, what's up? What's up YouTube? Hey my YouTube friends. <laughs> so yeah man. This is our uh Big old crocodile monitor. Let me see if I can get him behind my head. Ah, there we go. Woo! Much better. There we go. So, yep. You guys can now see a full length with his tail. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the ground over there about how big he is, but he is an awesome guy. Look at that. I just truly love this guy. He is so special. I'm gonna be uh, my seat down. You guys can see him. But yeah, man, I mean, again, what a freaking animal. It's like a freaking puppy. Look at that. Doesn't get any better than coming home and spending good old quality time with your freaking animals. 
What a sick animal. All right, so now it's snake time. You guys seen crocodile monitors or tree dwelling monitor lizards? Guess who our water monitors are? Semi aquatic based monitors. So now we're gonna flip the switch and we're gonna go to arboreal snakes. Be right back. All right, so right now I'm in one of my uh, arboreal snake setups. Uh, this guy just got done shedding and now I gotta get him out. way up there and I'm trying to get the camera right I'm a little bit more comfy uh, with the snakes I don't gotta wear a, a sweatshirt so I'm not sweating <laughs> but this guy is so strong man uh, he's a beast of a snake um, also demands respect I'm trying to get him uh, back to where he feels, and I feel comfortable with each other. Um, I spent some time using just one hand, so he's all awkward and stuff, but nonetheless, here he is. This is our big, big Malukan Python. Golden Malukan Python. Um, big guy. His name is Titan. Big old head. Now these guys can be known to be nippy but um, as you guys can see, he is just a really strong. Um, these arboreal species, yeah, they're not really uh, social like that, you know? They're real, uh, they get defensive, they get spooked out sometimes, but nonetheless, they can have an attitude as well. Um, but this guy is fairly sweet. He's really thick, I mean, I can't even put my whole finger around both parts of the thickest part. And I'm just trying to get him not to wrap me up because he gets in these big old wraps and just gets himself tangled up. Yeah. Where'd he go? I just don't want him to go up there. All right, All right. there we go. Sorry. <laughs> but again, this is one reason why Certain snakes aren't meant for just one person to take out. You don't want to get these coils up there because just because I'm talking, it's tight. He's not doing it on purpose. He means no harm, but by all means, he's not a small snake. He's every bit of about 10, 11 foot. So uh, you guys can understand how, uh, that's what I'm trying to do too. Get him up here so you guys can see actually how big he is but he's just so strong man and he's also really sweet look at this how many guys do you know that have a big old malukan golden python like this and he's not trying to bite you you know he's just really strong <laughs> i'm gonna get him moved over there just to one side. All right. Hopefully you guys can see the size on this guy. He is big, really big. Really, really big. Oh, I got him. Okay, he's just heavy. <laughs> so I'm gonna put him back. You guys have seen him. Oh, go ahead, buddy. He's due for a meal today, so as I put him back, I actually will show you guys a quick feeding of him because he has food downstairs waiting to be given to him. All right, guys, now he's got food. I'll show you his feed and response. He smells it. He's coming. You guys see him back there in that back corner, right? He smells it. Oh, there he goes. Him in all of his glory. 
busting that rat up. Sweet, huh? All right, guys, so I showed you guys three lizards, and now I'm gonna show you guys three snakes. Next is gonna be our Papawan olive python. Now, this girl is in shit. Um, on her head, and it's over there, I see it. Come on, I don't really need much of a hook for her because she's a big girl, but usually when she's out, she is real chill. Look at her. Big old girl. She is deep in shed. So you guys see that milky blue over her eyes? Um, she can't see anything right now. <laughs> her whole skin is blue. Look at that. She almost looks like a Cyclops green tree python because she's so freaking blue. <laughs> or Insularis. Probably not that blue, but you guys know. I'm just exaggerating. Papawan, olive python. Every bit of big going through a shed right now. This girl easily about 12, 13 feet. She is a <laughs> big girl. I can't even like, it's hard to show her size because she is just so freaking big. She eats everything all the time. During shed, after shed. Ugh. But look at her. She is a beast. Whoa, whoa. All right, get out of here maybe. Get in there. We can go home now. So, um, I'll probably, you guys probably see me work a little more comfortable with snakes because I've worked with them for longer periods of time. Um, unlike the lizards, the big lizards, I've worked with big lizards like this for about 15 years, I guess, 16 years. Um, with particularly the monitor lizards, I've worked uh, just about 20 years with uh, iguanas, um, but I've spent uh, about 25 years with snakes. So uh, it's cool. You see, even just self-analyzation, I can see myself on camera, myself, just looking at myself, how much more comfortable I am working with different species. Not that I'm scared of them, I just feel better. You know, some snakes require, hey, I'm coming in, it's no food, let me talk to you. Some I could just go grab out because we had that, I had this snake since 2000, 2013, I got this snake. So nine years me and this girl have been friends. This girl up here, actually sorry, this guy up here, um, his name is Thanos. Uh, he is also a, uh, hey, there's no food happening right now type of snake. shed over here you know um, how I know a snakes going through a rough shed it doesn't come out full it's an all-in-one piece um, this is our southern male uh, southern white lip python it's a male um, beautiful snake they can be nippy but once this guy's out and calm down he's actually a joy to work with he's never bitten me but I do not want to get bit by him and usually it's the first 10 seconds when you're outside of the habitat is when you're going to get bit. Um, as more time passes, ah, whatever, as more time passes, um, you know, the more comfortable they get with you when they're out there habitat. But he's not going through a shed as good as I thought he would be. But he's a bit of a bunch of feet as well, easy like eight foot. And uh, he wants to go back in his house. And he's also due for a rat, so I'll grab his rat. And um, I'm sure he would love to eat in front of you guys. So, be right back. Once he smells it, he usually hits it. Doesn't take him long. 
There it goes. Perfect. So with this Southern um, white lip python, I'm thinking to help with that humidity issue, um, which I think it is. His, uh, his habitat isn't damp enough. It's just me not having a full on right setup because he drinks, he eats, he's healthy. He's calm, he's chill. Um, he just needs more humidity inside this habitat. And I realized what happened while I was gone. So he's had plenty of great full sheds. It's just this one isn't the best. I'm sure my Papa Juan, which is right below him, um, they, have, they have a similar type of habitat um, as the bare necessities. And this one I'm thinking is gonna have a nice full shed, but you guys will see the update later. Um, and I'll show you guys a couple of actual quick sheds. <laughs> um, I have actually a whole bunch of them. Craziest thing, but this is what I mean by full sheds. I love full sheds, okay? I mean, I pride myself on uh, seeing the eye caps come up all the way down to the end of the tail, you know? So I have collected each snake's shed up there with different labels and the dates and how much they ate and when they refused meals and so on and so forth. But yeah, man, I love you guys. I have tons of more animals, tons of more snakes, updates. I got the these iguanas up here. I got another croc monitor down there that's not so nice. We got to trim its nails as well too. Uh, we got to feed some kids. We got to clean up some stuff. This guy pooped up here. <laughs> this guy needs a water bowl change. I got so much stuff to do. You guys seen three snakes, uh, three lizards. Tomorrow, I'll actually film for you guys again. We're hitting a million subs, so now we gotta be dropping vlogs every single day. All right, guys, love y'all, peace. Speaking of full sheds, that someone just gave me a full one, huh? Look at that. You didn't say hey? You didn't say hi? Hey to the camera? Don't bite the camera, okay? She's like, what is going on here, dad? This is Oh, shit.